world says a priest is a pastor behind a pulpit in a church. And that is true, but not entirely. Revelation 1 5, um, I already read that, I'll read it again. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So every believer is a priest. Get out there and preach the gospel. Amen. It's good. It's good. Amen. Amen. And this last idea in my list here is the most grievous. The world says you get to heaven by being good and you go to hell for being bad. Yep. The Bible says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Amen. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have right. everlasting Amen. life. Good. Right. Good. John 3, 18, He that believeth on him is not condemned, right. but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3, 36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 5, 24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Amen. John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall right. never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Yeah. Acts 16, 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved Amen. in that house. Galatians 2, 21. I do not frustrate the grace of God, yeah. for if righteousness come by the law, and Christ is done in vain. Right. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, Amen. and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Jonah 3.10, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented, you hear that? God <laughs> repented <Yeah. laughs> of the evil that he had said he would do unto them, and he did it not. 1 John 5.10, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. Yeah. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of the Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, okay. and this life is in his Son. Amen. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have been written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. The truth. Romans 4, 5. But to him that worketh not, Amen. but believeth, the believing is not a word. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Romans 6 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Romans 11 6. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Right. But if be of works, then it is no more of grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. It's either grace or work. You can't mix them together. That's right. right. And by yep. the way, it's grace. By like grace and saved through faith. Good. Romans 11.29. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Amen. If you take the proper meaning of the word repentance, this means that uh, once God gives you the gift of eternal life, he's never going to take it back for anything. That's right. Good. But even if you insist that repentance means repent of your sins, then okay, the gifts and calling of God are without repenting of Amen. your sins. <laughs> even if you misinterpret that, it still fits with the truth. I don't know how you're going to get out of it. I don't know why you would want to get out of it. Amen. Why are yeah. some people so intent on working for something that's free? That's right. Yeah, come on. It's good. Yeah. Let's look at uh, Romans chapter 3. Verse 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely Amen. by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then that is excluded? Amen. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Amen. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Okay. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? 
yes, of the Gentiles also. So you need this one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith, and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. That's good. Amen. Luke 8, 12. There's by the wayside are they that hear, then come with the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Good. Yep. Luke 18, verse 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that, all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Ephesians 4, 30. He grieved not the Holy Spirit, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. 1 Peter 1, 9. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. John 6, 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise Amen. cast out. Hebrews 3, 19. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Yep. Right. Hebrews right. 4, 3. For we which have believed, not even necessarily do believe anymore, but have believed at some point, yep. do yep. enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath that they shall enter into my rest, Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. It's good. It's good. God doesn't need your works to help get you saved. Amen. They were finished from the foundation of the world. It's right. good. Amen. Hebrews 4, 6. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Yep. Hebrews 4, 10. For he that has entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as yep. God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Hebrews 10.10, 10, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. That's good. That's good. James 2.14, what doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Luke 7.50, and he said to the woman, Amen. thy faith hath saved thee. That's good. Amen. Amen. That's good. In peace. That's good. That's good. That's good. I just read 50 verses that say salvation is by faith alone and you can't lose it. That's good. And that's just a taste. Wait till Justin does his thing. <laughs> I don't know how you think you can take a few verses from James 2 out of context and pit that against the whole rest of the Bible. Right? right. That's not how it works. Get it right. Let's get it. Let's close in a prayer. Okay. Thank you, God, for being with me as I delivered your word. Thank you for your perfect word that will guide us if we're just willing to read it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's go. There's not a lot of praise on that. <laughs> Pope Benedict XVI was baptized the same day he was born. Yeah, that was real useful. It's still on the hill. <laughs>